Hi, achy dad here. <sighs> I'm not too achy today. I had to ride my bike back from the mechanic. And I noticed getting older going down this hill, and I started to go really fast like I used to, and then I was thinking, oh my god, have I checked the brakes? I'm, I'm over 50 years old. What if I fall off this bike? Never thought that when I was a kid. That would be aches, falling when you're older. Anyway, today um, I got a mic to test called the Maano, M-A-O-N-O, A-U, P-M-421. So I've tested some other mics from China, like the Tonor for about $70, and two more cheapos that I wouldn't recommend. And so far, this one uh, right here, I like. All right, so this is the uh, MacBook Pro uh, 2017 uh, onboard mic. Uh, the laptop's about the same distance away, maybe under two feet. All right, so this is the uh, Logitech C920 webcam mic. Pretty close, under uh, under two feet, definitely, maybe 18 inches. Okay, this mic is the uh, Logitech headset I'm using. Pretty inexpensive one I use for video calls. Uh, I probably should be talking directly at it and probably much closer, like a radio host. There it is. It's a cardioid mic. Uh, I think radio hosts do this. They go real close and they don't talk too loud. Hello, W. NBC New York coming to you from the basement of a building unknown to the world. This is Wolfman Jack. Basement baritone. Your rock and roll station. Uh, this is 50% gain on the input on the Mac and about 50% gain on this little dial, which I'll turn up, 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 and down, 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 down. So I'm leaving about 50% on both. I'll try to talk right at it for this video, which isn't too long. It's uh, a kit with an arm uh, that you've seen on 100 lamps. I think they all use the same supplier. Uh, but the uh, pop shield and the mic itself and the materials and the um, shock suspension all seem really good, uh, better than other mics I've tested. And the sound seems, seems good as well. So for the $80, I would say this is better. Uh, and I think it's their latest model. It seems like Manu is trying to break away from the kind of... Uh, hundreds of mics that come come into the market that um, aren't too expensive but they really aren't much better than the onboard mic on the laptop and certainly not better than a um, I just realized I was staring at the mic hello Mike how are you uh, not better than like my iPhone 11 up on one of these arms 18 inches from uh, my mouth is, is really good in a quiet room. Uh, hopefully this is better. Um, I've got a little fan on. My laptop just came on a little. It's hot, hot here in Aruba where I just got this shirt. No, I'm in Vermont. Um, stop staring at the mic. Stop staring at me, Mike. And I don't know how it's going to pick up the birds in the background. They heard me and stopped. Um, Let's do the specifications on this. So if you're not into specifications, just skip to the end here. Okay, for the geeks out there, I don't know what the polar muster is. It's an incomprehensible word. Frequency, 20 to 20,000 HZ. Hertz. Oh, <laughs> that's German. Ah, English. Polar pattern, <laughs> carteroid. Frequency response, 20 to 20,000 hertz. Sensitivity, negative four decibels, negative 29 plus three. Bit depth, 
24 bit. Sample rate up to 192 kilohertz. It's a USB 5 volt DC. Signal to noise ratio 74 decibels. Maximum SPL. SPL. Signal place loft. <laughs> no. 125 decibels. It's got a touch mute control and a knob for the gain. And that's the specs. What don't I like about it? So far, the only thing is that the usability um, and the user interface of where the dial is and the mute button means it's easy to hit the mute button, which has a nice light, so at least you know, when you go in to touch the dial. And the dial's a little close down uh, by the sus uh, shock suspension. So I wish, uh, I wish I guess the dial was higher a little and over more. But this is small potatoes versus uh, metal construction, and I hope the mic sounds good. What else did I want to say about mics today? Boy, it's getting hot here in southern Vermont. I hope everybody's safe out there and being safe for both yourself and especially others like the elderly and those at high risk. You never know. I guess if you're carrying if you're carrying COVID, you might not even know. So wearing a mask is it's good for those people at risk, even if it's really bothersome, which it's hot wearing a mask and it fogs my glasses and I wish I didn't have to wear a mask uh, when I go in really public places. But this too shall pass. And uh, everybody stay uh, safe out there and uh, maybe put on a Hawaiian shirt like this. I find it brightens other people's day. Uh, makes them think of being on a beach somewhere and how you wouldn't need a mask. And as long as you're six feet away from people, like a secluded Caribbean beach nobody knows about. So wear a Hawaiian shirt and uh, stay audible out there, of course, too. And oh, don't forget to click the like button if you like this video, or even if you don't, click the don't like video, video, video so I'll know. And uh, subscribe if, if you want. And that's about it this morning, waking up. Okay, here we go. Off to the salt mines.